Good evening. We begin tonight with a CTV News exclusive. An Ottawa man is convicted of illegally selling vehicles, many of them without airbags. Buyers had no idea. So we went looking for answers, and when our cameras tracked him down, it led to some tense moments. Quality Motors operator Ahmed Musa pleaded guilty to 36 counts of what's called curbsiding. That means selling vehicles without a license. At least seven of those vehicles were found to have no airbags. CTV's Catherine Latham is here with the exclusive story for us tonight. Kathy? Well, Graham, this is a huge wake-up call for anyone in the market for a used vehicle. We went looking for answers from Ahmad Musa, asking why he was duping consumers, and he certainly was not happy to see our cameras. Ahmad Musa spots our CTV vehicle parked just down the street from a shop and approaches Hi. us. Mr. Musa? I have no interest in talking to you, so hit the road, okay? What? Why can't you talk to us? Why did you, you sell cars? You I'm going to call the police. Why did you sell cars with no airbags? But it didn't end there in a vacant parking lot. Mr. Musa, why did, calling you, sell the police. Why That's did it. you sell cars? He takes off. And returns moments later. Mr. Musa, why why did you sell cars with no airbags? They are in the camera off. Why did you sell cars with They're no airbags? They are in the camera off. But they are in the camera we off. We know you have been fined, sir. Why did you sell cars with no They're airbags? They are in the camera off. Were you? If I see you on my property. I'm calling the police. Okay. Why were you operating without a license? Operating as Quality Motors on Searville Road, Ontario's vehicle sales regulator says over three years, Musa had purchased wrecked vehicles at salvage auctions, rebuilt them, selling the repaired vehicles to consumers. He was disclosing that these vehicles had been in accidents and had been repaired. He did make those disclosures. But we know of at least seven vehicles where, the ve where, where after the vehicle was repaired, airbags that had, had had deployed in the, in the accident weren't replaced and the consumers weren't aware of that. Musa has pleaded guilty to 36 counts of curbsiding. That's posing as a registered dealer illegally selling vehicles without a license. He was fined $40,000 and sentenced to two years probation. Curbsiding is something that people are becoming more aware of and certainly the courts are, are becoming more concerned with. Signs you may be dealing with a curbsider, the car is priced below market value. It's not registered in the seller's name, no vehicle history report, and they refuse to have an inspection. And look for this sign. It means you're dealing with a registered dealer. So ask to see the OMVIC license. If they don't have one, run. And please report them to OMVIC. As for Musa, his probation prevents him from engaging in the selling of vehicles. Why were you operating with but he can still operate his repair shop. Now, OMVIC estimates that 25% of all for sale by owner ads online are actually curbsiders. Now, we will have a link on our website of all those who have been charged and convicted of this. It may be worth a look if you're in the market for a used vehicle. Patricia? An eye-opener for many tonight. CTV's Catherine Latham live for us. Thank you.